Hi everyone. I have another V-Stash box and this time it's blue. So let's get started on this one. This is box number two and I have in this bag a beautiful blue applique. Absolutely gorgeous applique. I have, I believe this is one yard, but let me make sure. Rick Rack. <laughs> nope, this is two yards. I have two yards of blue Rick Rack. And a little blue bird. An adorable little blue bird. You can use on any project. I'm trying to stuff as much as I can into these boxes to be honest with you. Some of the remnants and some of it will be entire yards. But, you know, for the money I think you're getting a good deal. Okay, in this little bag I have this blue doily, little rose center. This little blue doily. A blue flower. This is a paper flower. I'm um, just some blue remnant here. It's got little snaps on it that you could use for closure on a journal. You put some blue ribbon over top of that and use it for a snap. It's beautiful. Okay, I have a pair of blue clip-on earrings here that you can use, take the backs off of them and use them in the centers of a flower or to decorate your project, whatever you want to make. And two rows of blue flowers. And these are fabric flowers. Um, what do they call them? Chanel? I believe, but they're absolutely adorable. Okay, and next bag, I have one yard each of fabric. So let's see what's in here. I have this beautiful blue, absolutely gorgeous fabric. I love it. I've used it on a lot of projects. And this was the last yard I had. And then I have a yard of this beautiful blue with a light blue snowflakes and the sparkly in it. But there is a yard of this here. And I have a yard of this Wow, I don't want to unfold all this, guys. <laughs> but I have a yard of this blue. And it is a beautiful, shiny, silky type material. Okay, here I have one yard of blue lace. And it's pretty thick. And it's actually a little over a yard. But it's really very pretty. And then I have a section of this, um, I want to call it brocade, but it is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful fabric. And I'm going to open this to see. It is a yard in length, and it is pretty good size. It is a yard in length and about three quarters of a yard in width. But it is absolutely gorgeous material. Okay. Okay, I know I need to stop saying okay. But guys, I'm starting to feel a whole lot better. I am getting 
immune therapy treatments, and I am really feeling a whole lot better. So hopefully I'll quit catching everything that comes down the pipe. That's a southern saying for those of you that don't know. Okay. I have this beautiful blue lace, and I believe this is one yard. Let me make sure. A little over a yard of this beautiful blue lace. Some remnants of another blue lace with some silk on top. Cute little blue bow. Um, I have some white eyelash trim with the sparkles in it. And this is three yards. Another little remnant of just blue with a ribbon through it. And just a couple of little remnants here. I have some... Um, antique beige lace and this did come off an antique garment or vintage however you want to say it but it is absolutely gorgeous and I just thought it looked nice with some of the blue so I added it to this bag I have a brand new roll of blue ribbon has not been opened another blue bow and here I have some different shades of blue there is at least a yard and this is the blue um, sparkly there's another shade of the blue darker shade of blue sparkly and this is just a little piece of light blue but this one is a lot of the blue with snowflakes on it and it is one two yards of this okay and this is a blue with a deer nice journal covers if you're making Christmas journals for a man I use this on like four journals that I made they're placemats, actually, but they make great journal covers. And I did these four men's journals, and they loved them. Okay, this one, I believe, is a bag of just remnants. Make sure. It's a little piece of a blue applique. It's absolutely beautiful. Some more blue lace swatch of blue silk here is another little remnant here is a large piece of darker blue lace type material it can be used for many projects cut up and used for different projects and here is a square of looks like a watermark blue it's absolutely gorgeous camera doesn't do justice okay and here I have another little piece of blue and another piece that's just like a little remnant with um, some roses on it some blue with um, sparkle on it there's another little square more of the blue and a lot of these little pieces I got in the monthly goodie bags that I bought and they're not what I can use for the type of work I'm doing but um so I thought well I'll just stick them in here and see if anybody else would be interested there's another piece of the blue with the sparkly on it and another piece another piece of that that looks watermarked they make great fabric tags and a little blue flower for floral journals another piece of the blue with sparkles on it which looks really nice over top of most of this fabric let's see I have another square of floral floral and the watermark and here I have a section of see through this is blue and green 
and white. It has a beautiful pattern, floral pattern on it. You really get a lot in here for floral journals if you like using fabrics in your journals. There's another section of that blue and white. And another section of it with the roses on them. Here's a section of blues. One, two, three, four squares of this. A good sized piece of this. Not quite a yard, maybe about half a yard. Yeah, it's half a yard. And then I have the blue mermaid fabric. And this is about three quarters of a yard. I think he's, I think it's just adorable. I think they're cute as they can be. And really, if you're making a mermaid journal, you could cut out, fussy cut out each mermaid and put them on tags or whatever, or your pages. And then I have this section of the blue floral. And that is the blue box. And it also includes shipping, and it is also $30.00 shipped so if you are interested contact me at the email address below or in the facebook group crafting friends and i will i'm going to sell it to the first person who actually pays is how i'm going to work these these dash boxes so if you're interested let me know and hopefully i'll have some more boxes together soon to share with you and Keep these fashion. See you soon. Bye-bye.